Hey there guys, it's Michael P96 and you're watching an easy clap tutorial. Alright then guys, this has been requested highly by you guys so I'm doing it for you now. Alright then guys, what you want to do is open virtual dub, file and capture AVI. Then what you're going to do, you go to video and press preview. This stops all the lag. Okay, let that work. Okay, then you go to video source and if you're using composite, you'd use that. If you're using S video cable, then you press S video. Then you go to capture pin. And um, you put this to YUY2. And if you're in the PAL region, like um, the UK, then you put this to 720 by 576. But if you're in um, America, you put it to 720 by 480. And then you put this slider all the way to um, 1. And you press apply and OK. And then you go to video capture filter you change that depending on um, where you live so as I said before if you're in the UK or other places like um, Japan I think yeah you put PAL B but if you're in America you put this like NTSC NTSC yeah but it's, as you can see guys I don't get a signal from NTSC so I use PAL and then you go to here you copy this guys press default Drag the sharpness down if you like, it's up to you. And then you leave that exactly the same. Right then guys, press OK. Then you go to video and then you go to compression. And then you have to download this code deck guys. I'll put a link in the description. You press free download and once you've got that, you can select this, press configure. You put it onto the one guys. And um, you type in 10,000 here for the bitrate, and that will give you um, a nice quality um, and a good file size as well, guys. <clears throat> All right. Then you go to video once the last time. Set custom format. You put 720, 576 if you're in the UK, and if, you, if you're in the America, you put 720 by 480. But because I'm in the UK, I put 576. Press OK. Let that load. OK. Obviously select your devices first guys, I forgot to mention. Select your audio and video devices. Right here, you choose yours. I'm using my dazzle at the moment because I'm downstairs. But my easy cap's upstairs and just to let you guys know, the easy cap and dazzle both get the same quality, so don't really like mind about buying an easy cap. It may be cheaper, but in my opinion the easy cap's better. Alright and guys, because um the, the dazzle is a bit grainy and it looks too sharp. So select your audio device. And then you press en enable audio capture, and then you leave all this stuff the same, guys. Then you go to um, capture timing, and then copy all this down, guys. So the first box is checked, the second box is checked. The no frame burst limit is 10. Then this box is not checked, and so is that box. This box is checked. Them two aren't. That's put put that to, to zero. Sorry, to zero, and press automatic. And then tick the top box and press OK guys and that will eliminate any lag that you get between your audio and video. And then you basically after that guys, you, just, you press file, step capture file. And then um, you name your file, so I'll put um, easy cap test. And then you press capture, capture video. And then wait for it to capture guys. Okay, there we go. Just record anything guys, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Capture, stop capture. Then you go to file, exit capture mode. File, open video file. And then you find the video you, rec you recorded. That's the one. And then just set how how large you want the file to be. And I'll just set it all the way. And then you go to, this is the main part now guys. What you're going to do is go to video and you go to filters. From here you press add and deinterlace. That will get rid of the lines. Then you press interplay using Yadif algorithm and then you use this box here or that box. They're both the same really but I use the bottom one. I press OK. Then you press config cropping, sorry, cropping, yeah. And you crop down any lines like these lines here. You can also drag it as well guys, but I like to press them buttons. Okay, let me crop it all down. Oops. Okay, there we go. 
Press add again, guys. You go to, um, is it resize? Yeah, you press resize, guys. And check, check this box, sorry, and check this box. Okay, type in 1280 720. That will give you HD quality, guys. And press OK. Add one more filter, guys. You go down, go to sharpen. Okay. And um, I suggest you guys add 30, depending on your quality. If you've got, um, if it looks a bit grainy and too sharp, turn it down to like 15 if you like. If it looks like really blurry, put it higher. But don't put it on 64 because it does make it uh, everything look a bit too sharp. I put mine on 30, guys. I use 40 sometimes, depending on the game. Anyway, press OK. Press OK. And there you go, guys. You can see, make these smaller. As you can see there, guys, if you look at the, wait, oops, look at the video, it looks much better. Okay, and from there you got a video, compression, DivX, configure, and then you do the same as, before, as you recorded it, you put to 1 and 10,000. Press OK, OK, and the last thing is guys, if you want to save all these filters, all these filters here, and you can you don't have to keep doing it every time you go to file um save processing settings and save it as whatever you like and there you go guys that's a tutorial done and the last thing i want to talk about is sony vegas if you want to add commentary to your videos guys um open sony vegas and drag your process clip in that you did in virtual dub that you just saved and then um you know render it as um MPEG-4 or WMV, 5 megabits or 6 megabits per second, that's your choice guys. Anyway, I'll put the links in the description guys, thanks for watching, and um, please rate the video with a like or dislike, depending on how you um, thought, how inf informative this video was. Alright then guys, peace.